So now that we're staying in this house and not moving into another one, we're finally going to do a backyard renovation um, starting today. <laughs> Don't judge what I'm about to show you, but this is where we're starting. This used to be so gorgeous, but Arlo has destroyed it. So this is the current state of the backyard. There's no grass through here. And this is an absolute mud pit. It's pretty trashed, to be honest. So phase one, we'll be putting up more of this temporary dog fencing so that we can keep the dogs off of it and hopefully not do any more damage. And then phase two, we'll be putting some Bermuda sprigs in the yard. Phase three, we'll be putting some plugs in the yard and possibly doing a French drain. I'm not sure about the French drain yet. It's mostly fenced now. It's not gorgeous, but it's functional and it'll keep the dogs out. They do have a way to get into the backyard. I made them a little dog run. And then eventually once we get this fixed, we'll have to fix that too, obviously. The next step is to get some sprigs for back there. Um, this is common Bermuda. It's not the good Bermuda, but it's better than nothing. So that is what I'm getting. To get the sprig, you wanna pull it as close to the root as you can. That one's not great. And then I just put them in a box. Like, this one is perfect. And I'm gonna fill up this box with them. It's actually a very quick process. I just pulled sprigs for like a minute and I already have a whole box full. Next, we're harvesting plugs from the yard. So I've just gone through and harvested a full thing of plugs. I'll transfer them to here and then we'll go plant them. Manually plugging your yard using a pro plugger may be cheaper than buying plugs, but it's certainly not easier. I was out there for like 30 minutes. It's a little bit tough to tell, but that's about 150 plugs, probably more, just in this area. All right, I just brought the fencing in about another feet. I'll give it another week or so, and then I'll check in with you guys again. Bro, look at this. Look how exciting this is. Look at this little shoot. It's going out all the way in there. It is filling in. It's just going to take a minute. Here we go. Here's another little progress update. It's getting there.
these little sprigs are going crazy. Look at those. I need to put them in there. There were some huge ones over here too. I tried to like redirect them in there. Good morning. I'm excited because we get to move the fence in a little bit more because it has now grown. So let me show you where it's at and then how far I get to move it in. Look at all of this growth. This whole section here is healthy enough now that I can move the fence in, which means that the dogs will get more room. Then we can mow it, which will help it spread. This section does need some help, but I think it'll be okay. This side is really not getting moved in that much. Um, it's just struggling. Like, I don't know if it's worth moving the fence in that little bit. Because honestly, like, even where it has grown in, it's still pretty thin. We'll see. I'm going to move the other side in, and then I'll think about this side. I have no idea what my neighbor's going to think about me filming. He's mowing his yard right now. It's exposure therapy, y'all. I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but these are like to support trees. They're not built for fencing, so it's no surprise that I keep breaking them. Okay, they were cheaper than getting an actual fence. All of this that's now healthy enough, and I last moved the fence up like a week or two ago. The good thing about Bermuda is you really just have to give it the environment to do what it already wants to do. Like it wants to grow and spread out and be healthy, so we have to keep the lovely but also destructive dogs off of it, and then it will rejuvenate itself is so nice so yeah this is where we're at right now and i will touch base again when i move the fence in again and i'll keep showing you updates on how it's filling in these they're actually filling in really well like look at all of these shoots see how they're like tacking down and getting comfy good i think another couple weeks and it'll be filled in I did talk about bringing in some topsoil to help because as you saw that soil is like very tired looking, it's very cracked. Spencer had a good point that if you bring in topsoil that's also going to bring in weeds. So for now I think it's best to just leave it as is, but I may go in and like break up the existing soil a little bit. Look at how good this is. This part right here is really filling in. I'm very, very happy to see this. I feel like it's finally rooted in and taking off. Thank God. It's nice to sit out here and just relax though. Arlo keeps trying to get a bird. There's a bird that sits on the fence right there and tortures him and he is yet to catch it. One of the main reasons why this part of the yard gets messed up every single year is because it's not graded properly. All of the water just sits right there, but I knew that if I brought in topsoil, I would also be bringing in weeds. So I have this cart full of dirt that came from a different flower bed, has zero weeds in it. I'm gonna try to regrade this with that dirt without like smothering the Bermuda. I don't think I had enough dirt or sand to make a big difference. I do think though, with how fragile this Bermuda is, it is probably best to do it a little at a time. And then once it's healthy again, we can come in and actually regrade it, which is the plan, but you know, kind of need grass first. Just took this part down and Spencer's about to mow it so that they'll stop eating it. I'll be honest, I am a little bit nervous about opening this up to the dogs, but it does need to be able to be mowed so that it can spread out instead of going up. We'll see. And here's the other side. 
this part is going to stay closed off. We opened up from here over. Excellent news, my friends. This whole part of the yard is healthy enough now that this fence can come down. I started taking it down before I started recording. And then hindsight 2020 kind of realized, oh, you know what? I'm making YouTube about this. I better record it. So I'm taking this fence down and then I guess I need to see how much this can cover. But anyway, we will have a very small part of the yard that's fenced off now. The rest of it will be open for the little minions. I'm very excited about this. I'm keeping my camera in the shade because it's so unbelievably hot out here. I think if it's not in the shade, it's gonna overheat immediately. So, sorry that you're a little bit far away. I'd rather you be a little bit far away than overheat my precious camera. Hi, butterfly. Do you hear them? Little baby birdies up there. They're in the fern. We have little baby birdies in the fern. Little cutie pies. Little cutie patooties. There we go, a whole another part of the yard opened up. Remember how bad this looked like a couple weeks ago? Now we just got this part and tomorrow I'm gonna go in. I bought 50 more Tahoma 31 plugs. So I'm gonna put some in here, some over here where it's still pretty thin and then some over here where there's still some thin spots. I'm excited, I have bought 50 more plugs, Tahoma 31 plugs. And I'm going to put them in this spot that's really struggling. And then I'll put some outside the fence too. Um, I just want this spot to fill in really quickly. So that's why I'm replugging it instead of just waiting for the plugs I've already put in to take off. I don't know why this spot has always been a struggle spot for our yard. But I got 50 more plugs on the way. Okay, how many holes have I just put in the ground? I'm not, well, hmm, maybe I should count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 14, 15, 16. Let's go get our babies. <laughs> oh my God, my butt cramped. I could just use the gate I made, but instead I keep stepping over it. It's ridiculous to know that this is $71 of Tahoma 31. This, $71. I'm going to place these and then I will go by one by one and make the holes deeper, shallower, whatever it needs to be once I have the plugs in there. This is kind of hard to tell just by looking at it what I need to do for some of these holes. The nice thing about the Pro Plugger is that it makes perfect like diameter of holes, but the depth is really hard to get standardized when you're doing it. There we go. I put 40 of them over here, and then I put the other 10 over here in some of these spots that have been struggling. I feel impressed, but also like it's taken two months for this to fill in. I am impressed that it's filled in as well as it has though. Seeing this makes me feel like all of that time spent collecting 250 plugs from the front yard was actually worth it. Like looking at my yard and seeing grass instead of just dirt and mud makes me so happy. I've got to be honest with you and say this did not go as planned. I'm going to take this out and then I will tell you the story <laughs> as I go. Let me remove this fence first. This is what I imagined us getting to this year. This is last September that you're looking at the yard was so lush, very green, all in all gorgeous. I mean, it looked, it looked so healthy. So this is what I was picturing 
when I did this yard renovation, I was hoping that by bringing in the plugs, we would get it to be vivacious again. Um, unfortunately, it just didn't work out that way. <laughs> so let's get to here's today. It did fill back in. I, I have to be pleased with this. It's not dirt anymore. I think it's going to keep bouncing back. I, I messed up the watering schedule. I overwatered it, which unbelievably that is a thing. So it went dormant in early August instead of thriving. So now in September, I have a partially dormant yard. Since I filmed this, it has kind of came back a little bit. It's a little more green now and it's still filling in a tiny bit. However, I think this year was about laying the foundation and hopefully we can keep it okay during the winter, keep Arlo from destroying it. And then hopefully next summer, it'll pop off. That has got to be my hope because I'm kind of let down. <laughs> 